Hi, we're gonna see how a pen face works on Clayu. This is a really really powerful tool with a lot of different settings so let's go step by step. Go to the creation tab and a pen face. We can start from scratch with no geometry selected and just clicking four times it's gonna create one face. I can just click again four more times okay, to create an appended face and I can do it several times. I have another option, uh, as I see here, it's called Auto Quad. Yes, this is gonna mean that when I click the fourth time, it's gonna automatically close the face. Now, if I deactivate the option Auto Quad, I'll be able, able to click more than four times before it cancels the face. So I can just click all the times that I want, and when I've created that, just right click. Okay, to create the angle in this case. I'm going to activate AutoQuad again. And we're going to see this example on the next model. So right now, uh, let's go to fill this hole. So I can just create, clicking the four points, this face. So it's perfectly uh, fitting in there. Now let's close that with a single face. So let's click on AutoQuad and we can just click all the times that I need to to fill the hole and click on validate and here we can just add different faces depending on the edges that we have so let's activate auto quad again let me undo everything that I've created now let's go to pen face again and let's see the the weld option okay uh, when I create the weld option, now I'm going to deactivate that. When I'm creating the same face that I was creating before, it's going to create the face but not welded with the base geometry. So if I select the face right now and go to the move gamble mode, it's going to be uh, totally separate from the other object. Okay, So I can create a face just welded to the object or not. And now let's go for the final step that maybe it's the most interesting one so let's get rid of all of that and let's play a little bit with the with the sphere let's go again to the append face and now we're going to check all the different modes that we have but using retopology we can use all the different modes also when we are creating faces from scratch or or in any mode okay but in here we're going to use it with retopology when i activate retopology an offset option will appear that is the distance between the base object and the uh, and the new geometry that we are creating. Okay, so right now I'm gonna click the same four times that we've clicked before on my object. Okay, on the sphere in this case. So it's gonna create just one face at 0.2 millimeters from the uh, the base object. Right now, the option weld it's not activated, so I'm going to activate it right now to weld the next face I'm creating. And those ones appears welded, this one is not, because here we have a naked uh, loop uh, painted as pink. So now let's see uh, how the other modes works. So let's activate uh, a pen face, click on one face, maybe we're going to create two, maybe three. And now let's see the other modes. Click on mode, let's change to from edge. And in here, uh, I can just click on my first selection on an edge and clicking two points will create the face. This is so more uh, interesting because it's gonna allow me to create faces faster than uh, clicking just point by point. So the last mode is chain. So let's click again on on mode. Let's click on chain. And what chain does is uh, it requests the same that in edge. So an edge as for selection. But then when I click on the first point and I click on the second one, it's going to automatically detect the angle, okay, where I'm the order where I'm picking the points, and it will automatically just uh, make me click one time to create the face to generate this loop of uh, faces so 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 fast 
Okay. So that's so interesting when we are just retopologizing one model to go faster. So we've seen a lot of the different possibilities that we have with pen phase. I hope you like it and thanks for watching.